So the next topic uh, that we are going to discuss is uh, cloud readiness assessment tools and checklist. Okay, so that is the uh, topic of uh, subject cloud computing for business. Uh, the subject code for this subject is KMB IT03. Okay, so uh, for uh, this uh, topic, uh, you may refer uh, following references. Uh, first is your textbook, second is your reference book, and uh, rest are some good blocks uh, regarding this field. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, what are the various uh, cloud readiness assessment tools? As uh, I have discussed earlier, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what is uh, cloud readiness assessment? And uh, what are the various steps towards uh, cloud readiness assessment? So there are a lot many tools to assess uh, uh, cloud, uh, assess uh, the environment, uh, whether you should adopt cloud or not, means how much you are ready towards adopting cloud. OK, so uh, we will discuss about uh, various tools and uh, this uh, checklist uh, about uh, this uh, cloud readiness assessment okay so various tools are available to help an organization determine how prepared it is to migrate through all tools are not created equally okay individual applications may have dependency or may require a specific environment and certain processes within specific industries have unique protocols that must be followed in regard to the data management or security okay so there are various phases and for various phases there are various tools uh, that you may adopt for uh, adopt to check whether uh, you are ready towards adopting cloud or not okay so selecting the right tool based on the overall goals existing framework and future environment is the first step towards having a smooth migration okay so uh, here is the list of tools okay so uh, while in this uh, first phase means uh, while you are analyzing whether you are ready towards adopting cloud or not uh, so for analysis phase uh, similarly as a strategy uh, you are using this uh, sort and pistol analysis similarly for uh, this uh, cloud readiness assessment you will adopt this sort and uh, pistol analysis but in terms of your cloud readiness okay you will uh, uh, only uh, mind here about uh, uh, this uh, how much uh, you are prepared about uh, how much you are prepared uh, to adopt this cloud based environment okay so by considering uh, uh, you will uh, consider uh, this analysis sort means strength weakness opportunity and threat and similarly, pastel, political, economical, sociocultural, technological, legal, and economical. Okay, so these uh, these are the various uh, uh, analysis that you use in strategy field as well as uh, you may use it in uh, this field also. Okay, next is analysis of security, uh, analysis of uh, security, legal, and compliance issue. Like uh, a lot many government and industry uh, pressure is there uh, means a lot many controlling bodies are there and uh, certain standards are there that you need to follow so you should uh, look towards those standards also means what are various uh, uh, analysis of uh, security standards over there legal standards over there and compliance okay so that you need to follow next is analysis of usability and accessibility okay uh, means uh, how much uh, usable uh, is this uh, to adopt uh, cloud means uh, whether you, if you are a manufacturing organization and uh, you are uh, uh, means uh, dealing with this uh, means uh, heavy industry uh, heavy electrical appliances so in that case uh, what is your basically requirement what is the usability of cloud okay uh, whether is it uh, usable or not uh, or uh, just uh, it is a fashion uh, symbol or uh, something else okay so that you need to decide whether uh, it is uh, use useful for you or not and uh, what would be the accessibility means uh, who are the person for which uh, you are creating this cloud based environment okay like uh, nowadays uh, adopting by adopting cloud a person uh, can run uh, numerous businesses okay uh, in uh, different different industry sector by using this cloud based environment and uh, he or she can get uh, information based on uh, this real time basis okay uh, with the help of this cloud based environment so that is possible like uh, macd dominoes are having uh, multiple outlets uh, across the globe and uh, they can get uh, uh, any data uh, 
from uh, across the globes uh, across the globe ac according uh, to the uh, regarding their outlets okay so that is basically the analysis of usability and accessibility okay so whether is it useful uh, for you or not and uh, who will assess this cloud based environment okay so that you will decide next is analysis of organizational readiness how much uh, you are ready towards adopting this cloud means uh, which type of employees you are having uh, whether they are itcb or not okay so that uh, you need to decide analysis of organizational readiness whether uh, your organizational employees are ready towards adopting this cloud or not okay whether they are adopting uh, uh, cloud based information system uh, or not okay so that you will decide uh, uh, in this phase means analysis phase okay next is analysis of other organizational impact means a uh, lot many competitors are there and other forces are there okay so that you need to decide means uh, what uh, uh, would be the impact of those forces uh, in uh, your uh, preparedness or in your uh, uh, cloud readiness uh, uh, towards your cloud readiness so that you need to decide means analysis of other organizational impact okay uh, so you may look for uh, some case study regarding your field and uh, in other field because uh, uh, success rate is uh, much lesser in comparison to failure rate okay so that you need to decide whether uh, uh, is there any uh, other organizational impacts that you need to consider while dealing with this uh, cloud readiness or not so that you need to decide okay so this is uh, the uh, tools uh, that you should uh, uh, use uh, while dealing with this analysis phase okay next is planning phase this is also an important phase and in this phase you should uh, decide about the benchmarking what is benchmarking means you should choose a role model and based on that role model you should uh, uh, decide uh, upon a benchmark and after that uh, you will attain that benchmark you will uh, try to attain that benchmark in uh, uh, a certain timeline so that is basically planning phase okay next is choice of cloud infrastructure means what type of infrastructure you are going to select like uh, infrastructure as a service you are going to adopt or platform as a service you are going to adopt or software as a solution you are going to adopt so that you need to decide means choice of cloud infrastructure what type of cloud infrastructure you will look for or you will go for okay next is finance plan means what are your budget constraint what are the various overheads of budgets okay and uh, what uh, uh, what would be the means uh, what are the other constraint like uh, if your budget is uh, uh, means approximately some uh, around 100 uh, uh, million dollar or uh, some other means suspect are there means you need to uh, have some buffer amount also means you need to do your financial planning over there okay next is security legal and compliance planning okay uh, you should uh, uh, in this industry you should follow some security standards some legal standards and some compliance standards so for that uh, what is your plan that you need to decide okay next is adoption and migration plan how will you adopt this cloud based environment and how will you switch uh, towards this uh, uh, cloud based environment that you need to decide in this planning phase so these are various tools that you need to use uh, while uh, uh, dealing with this phase planning phase okay next is adoption phase so in adoption phase uh, you will uh, go for uh, first tool is application and data integration okay you will integrate application as well as data means uh, data set uh, would be there and uh, you will uh, uh, means uh, you will remove uh, the redundancy and duplicacy of the data and you will decide uh, what data is important for you what type of data will you uh, store and uh, uh, what type of uh, other mechanism you will deploy over the, those data and how will you process those those data so that you will decide means application and data integration would be there next is outsourcing whether uh, you will uh, do all the things uh, by its own resources or uh, you will outsource uh, this uh, uh, activity to some third party or some external team okay so that you will decide uh, whether uh, you need to outsource or you will uh, do it in uh, your house uh, means uh, within your organization okay 
next is service level agreement uh, what is service level agreement uh, this is agreement in between cloud service provider as well as client okay so in uh, this uh, service level agreement uh, all the terms and condition will be will be uh, put over there okay to protect uh, the rights of both uh, the parties like uh, cloud vendor as well as uh, client okay and other policies are there okay so that uh, you need to uh, decide and uh, uh, in uh, mutual uh, with the mutual consent okay next is uh, contracting with the service provider you will uh, uh, negotiate as well as uh, make us uh, a certain period of uh, time or uh, contract over there means uh, like uh, you will have a contract for one year or three year or five year with your cloud service provider so that you will uh, you need to decide uh, whether uh, which type of contract uh, you should sign with your uh, this uh, cloud uh, cloud vendor okay so that is basically adoption phase next is uh, migration phase uh, what is migration phase uh, roll out the adoption plan okay and uh, application and data migration and support and monitor and control means uh, you have uh, you have been uh, moved uh, out uh, towards uh, this uh, cloud based environment so what would be the uh, uh, adoption plan and uh, application and data migration how will application uh, will run or data uh, will migrate towards uh, this system as well as support and monitor and control activity would be there in this migration phase okay and last one is this uh, management phase what is this uh, manage the contacts with service provider okay what are the key contacts that you need to uh, dial up in uh, different different scenario okay so with the service provider uh, what are the toll free number and other uh, uh, means uh, chatbots or some other just say in case uh, if you uh, require any type of service so who would be the contact person so manage the contacts with the service provider next is uh, uh, documentation of uh, the best practices and lessons learned like uh, you will uh, do this uh, post implementation review part okay you will document uh, all the practices and uh, what are the lessons uh, that you have learned from this uh, migration or uh, cloud adoption okay migration is basically uh, these people means uh, cloud vendor will hand over all the applications or data to you and uh, to uh, run it smoothly uh, or uh, to uh, run it smoothly in this uh, cloud based environment okay so you will uh, uh, do the post implementation review part means documentation of best practices and lesson learned uh, in this uh, process okay next is technical support what type of technical support you require in further uh, uh, means uh, subsequent years or uh, what would be the audit mechanism that you will decide uh, audit is what uh, means uh, to check uh, whether you are doing well or not uh, so that will be provided by your cloud uh, vendor okay next is review and maintenance so what is review and maintenance basically uh, you will check uh, whether uh, is there uh, any um, duplicacy redundancy or is there any problem or error so you will sort it out and uh, uh, run your uh, function smoothly so that is basically the tools and techniques that you should adopt uh, in different phases of this cloud readiness assessment okay so uh, this is all about uh, the tools uh, now the next topic is cloud readiness assessment checklist that means what uh, you need to uh, check uh, whether uh, doing this uh, cloud readiness assessment so what is this uh, current loads and needs must be measured to determine the requirement for future environment okay means uh, what uh, you are looking for means what uh, is your expected outcome and what is your current uh, scenario and uh, what are various gaps and how uh, you will uh, meet uh, those gaps by adopting this cloud based environment so that you need to decide okay next is uh, it should be verified that any data and applications are designed to work in the new environment and if how to alter them in order to ensure they can migrate if they don't integrate well to start with okay so that you need to decide next is if uh, new cloud based applications are being used in conjugation with existing program test should be run to make sure they work together well and to see how they can be adopted if there are issues means you should check the coordination as well as integration issues uh, over the data and information set okay next is uh, this uh, all new processes and software should be checked for security and compliance with any regulatory requirement for the 
for uh, requirements or best practices that apply okay so that you need to check uh, that uh, all the new processes and softwares are uh, working uh, as per security norms or as per compliance or not or as per the regulatory requirement or not okay as suggested by uh, this uh, cloud vendor okay so that you need to check okay next uh, check should be performed to ensure that the old environment will release data and that uh, the new environment will uh, readily accept any old data without losses or corruption okay like uh, uh, you put uh, you uh, uh, your whatsapp uh, generally backup your data okay so what uh, uh, it do it uh, generally uh, put uh, uh, the previous data as well as uh, current data also okay and uh, but uh, uh, duplicacy is not there so that is basically that you need to check uh, uh, check should be perform to ensure that the old environment will release data and that the new environment will ready accept any old data and without loss or corruption so that uh, you must check next is time frame should be confirmed in regard to determining uh, which processes should be moved first okay and while taking into account the impact each process has on business operation to ensure no changes are made at a time when the data or application gets the most use okay so many companies opt to move to virtual environment and programs all at once but in some cases individual processes are moved to minimize disruptions okay means you need to decide what are the various business processes that you need to uh, switch to the cloud based environment and what would be the time frame okay uh so that you need to decide next next is naturally key decision makers and influencers within the company should be on board with any change long before they begin to roll out okay and in addition to this an employee training program or onboarding process should be carried out to ensure everyone is aware of the benefits of uh, the new procedure and can make use of additional feature like i have uh, told earlier that while implementing uh, total quality management you need to uh, you need to uh, consider uh, that uh, all uh, stakeholder uh, should involve over there similarly in this uh, cloud based environment you should uh, uh, you should uh, check and uh, means uh, ensure that uh, every employee okay is uh, uh, dedicated towards uh, adopting this cloud based environment so for that if you need to conduct a training program or further uh, uh, means uh, educate further educating uh, them so you need to uh, means uh, conduct uh, such type of training programs to ensure that everyone is aware aware about the benefits of the new procedure that you have adopted through cloud uh, cloud based model okay and can make uh, the use of additional features that has been added by this uh, uh, cloud based environment like anybody uh, can uh, uh, nowadays uh, work from home is possible just because of cloud based environment now okay otherwise uh, uh, no one uh, will be able to work uh, in uh, uh, work in such type of uh, uh, environment uh, without having cloud okay so that is possible so you need to uh, means uh, you need to tell them uh, what are the additional benefits and what are the additional features of adopting this cloud based environment to um, to uh, handle their resistance towards adopting this cloud based environment okay so you need to train them educate them uh, uh, for uh, this uh, cloud based uh, environment okay so this is all about uh, the basic uh, system uh, checklist or basic uh, cloud readiness assessment checklist and uh, as well as uh, various tools uh, that uh, you should uh, adopt for this uh, cloud readiness assessment okay you may refer uh, further uh, uh, these references are there that you may refer for further study okay so thank you